and with CRISPR-Cas we can uh, cut and paste genes or gene parts with uh, quite some precision and pretty much the way we want at the designated location. So it opens like a whole new box of possibilities of um, actually changing our blueprint. To, to State Studio, um, our newly opened art and science gallery in Berlin. Um, it's really great to have all of you here for this wonderful um, event here tonight. And uh, we're really proud and happy to be hosting that panel. It's the, the end of the artist residency we did together with, with MDC. And it's a project that is very much uh, close to our hearts. And I'm very much looking forward to the evening. From understanding to tinkering, the future of genome research. Um, this is an event brought to you from Max Delbruck Center from Leica Medicine and also as a part of Orion Project. So Orion Project is a European project that um, has the aim to promote open science. And in case you wonder what open science is, <laughs> it's a, a sort of a new movement in the kind of stemming from the scientific community, which aims at improving scientific practices. So these are more transparent, more collaborative, and more inclusive. And in short, with the Orion project, we want to bring more science into the society, but also more society into the science. So um, the, um, this project here, um, the, the art science collaboration was, um, um, it originates from the, it, it happened in the framework of this Orion project. And um, we are very happy that we could team up with the state. Um, so we had an open call, uh, 40 submissions, really excellent proposals. And the most excellent one was from Emilia Tika. And that's why we chose her. And as a result, she spent three months nearly at, in our research labs at the MDC and working in labs that uh, have uh, the focus on, well, th that use gene editing with CRISPR-Cas uh, for the daily research, basically. So, um, Emilia spent almost three months in the MDC research labs and she refined her concept together with the um, um, MDC scientists. She did some really non-trivial heavy duty lab work there. Um, many scientists were impressed with her abilities to actually <laughs> do the experiments. Uh, it's something that PhD students take uh, well, at least a couple of months to learn to like, you know, to do uh, properly. Uh, she mastered immediately. Um, and uh, also this, this, um, this collaboration we had didn't have like a very smooth start in a way. It was a, quite a clash of cultures in the beginning. Um, the um, sort of the artistic vision um, met or clashed with the hard reality of the scientific fact. <laughs> but it was a very brief culture clash, I guess. And I think um, very, very um, quickly, um, Emilia and the scientists were able to not so much find, but actually create a common language. And I hope I speak for everybody uh, who was involved um, that this was a really enriching experience for us all. And uh, we're very happy that we could host this project. So, uh, what is maybe you're wondering what is gene editing in itself? So, gene editing, it's a method um, that we use um, to, to change the genetic blueprint of us, so to say. And um, the, what we can do with it is to basically to fix or enhance the functionality of our genes. And uh, the new and powerful tool behind it is called CRISPR-Cas. And with CRISPR-Cas, we can uh, cut and paste genes or gene parts with uh, quite some precision and pretty much the way we want at the designated location. So it opens like a whole new box of possibilities of um, actually changing our blueprint. And this is something that Emilia was looking at and um, from an artist perspective. And the result of that artwork, you can see here today. Um, it's this part of the installations over there. <laughs> um, but first, she will tell you all about it, how um, what the project is about. And before we can even um, think about gene editing, actually, uh, we also have to we have to understand the genome first, right? We have to understand. We have to know how to read the genome, uh, how to read our genes. We have to know how to understand what we're reading, and we also have to understand, like, when we what happens when we manipulate them, when we change them, right? And all its biological and sociological consequences. And this is what this symposium is about today. So we look at um, gene editing from our 
genome research from a scientific perspective and more from the speculative design uh, perspective from Amelia. And we hope to bring all this, um, this both perspectives together and have a very um, interesting discussion later in the panel um, about consequences of, uh, well, tinkering with ourselves. Mm -hmm.